So I'm welding. Uh, this is a French license plate bracket, or I don't know what you call it. This will be set up so that I can drop the license plate in it, put a a uh, license plate light above it, and I'm gonna sink it in the back of the Ford Unibody. It should be pretty badass, badass looking. Um, I still gotta drill the holes in it, and then when I weld this into the back of the unibody where the hole's gonna be cut in the tailgate, I'll sink this in and I'll kinda put it at an angle a little bit so that when rain gets in there, it'll have a drain hole, and then I'll run a tube out of the bottom of it. So I still need to drill the hole for the drain and the holes for the license plate, and then also the hole for the uh, license plate light. But I'll do all that. I'll probably do all that after no, actually, I'm going to have to do that before I put it in the tailgate. So these ones I could drill, but the ones like this, I'm going to have to drill because they got to be drilled from the top. But anyways, I'll, I'll get all that stuff done. And, uh, and then I got to sand and clean the edges up and the fronts, you know, I'll clean those up a little bit so that when I sink it inside the, the tailgate, there's going to be about a half inch all the way around sticking out. And then I'll be able to uh, angle it however I want. And then I'll Put a couple i'll use the tig welder and put a couple tacks drop to the bottom you know run a level on it and then uh maybe put like just a couple degrees like three degrees or something so it's just sitting in there a little bit kicked so that when you're at the back of the truck that license plate isn't straight up and down where you can't see it it'll be tilted just a little bit so it should look pretty nice but uh, i'll film some more you know when i start doing that so That'll look nice and finished, and then uh, when I go to fit this into the tailgate, you know, I'll cut that that uh, square or the shape here, and then it'll be able to slide in there without anything, any of the welds catching on it or whatever, and then I could just weld it inside the tailgate. <clears throat>
So today got kind of carried away, got away from me. So much going on. Um, I did pull all the body mounts off. Everything's unbolted. And then tomorrow morning, I'll be able to lift the body off. That way I can get everything ready to get the frame painted. Hopefully over the weekend. Um, finish this up, worked on a little bit more. And then I got to do the other corners. But you can kind of see uh, in the back of the tailgate here, I'm going to do a hidden gas door and then also do the uh, license plate sunk in. And then the metal obviously will go over that and then I'll cut that around and sink that inside the uh, metal that's here. I need to put the two braces in here and that's stuff I'll be uh, hopefully doing tomorrow. We'll see what happens. But I'm going to keep this a short video because I got a lot going on right now. But just want to give you guys an update. Thanks for watching. Later. So today I'm working on the unibody and I got it on the trolley here. I'm going to lift the body off the frame so I can sit the frame down on the ground, move it out of the way, move the body so I can start doing the bodywork and stuff on the body itself. And then I want to get the frame painted, like I was saying earlier in the video, and then uh, I can put the body back on here and start putting the floors in and, you know, building the rest of the steps and stuff for that. And then uh, I need to get the uh, firewall where it's straight. Right now it's kind of canted or kicked forward. I'll pull it back to where it matches up with this firewall and then uh, build all these pieces right here out of steel. Like this piece here that's coming straight down, I'll probably uh, cut that notch it and bring it back so it looks nice and you know looks factory. <clears throat> and, and then over there where the floor matches, you see there's some holes there. That's the same piece on the other side, but there's some pieces here that need to come over to the body so that they mount to the floor and everything. A lot of bracing to do and whatever. But today I'm working on getting the uh, body pull off right now with the uh, trolley or the overhead crane, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it's called. Uh, There's a bunch of names for it. And I think I'm going to put straps down inside the bed and a hook so that I can go up to that chain hook there so I could uh, pick this body straight up. That way, if it's leaning like this or like this, I can adjust it out with the uh, straps and get it where I want it.
on. So obviously I thought I had it where it was nice and uh, you know level or whatever like this, but uh, I got it way too much like this and then uh, underneath the fender well over here on this side, it got stuck. So I gotta real carefully get that out from underneath the frame somehow, but I'll figure it out. So the next thing I did is the the frame was up on the tires on the dolly and this truck doesn't fit my dollies uh, real good so I had to make these adapters. You can see them in the background on that dolly back there. Uh, so I put those uh, adapters that I built for that to keep the truck from rolling off the uh, dollies. But the problem was is that the frame was up too high. And uh, go away. Um, Anyways, so the frame was up too high, and then the next thing I want to do is, like I said, I want to get this frame prepped and painted. Uh, it's got to be all sandblasted and whatever. There's a bunch of brackets that got to be uh, taken off, uh, all new fuel lines, brake lines, you know, all that crap. And then we'll safety check everything before we put it back together uh, after it's all wired and whatever. But um, the body didn't come up the way I wanted it to. It kept doing this crap, so I got it caught back there on that side, which... You can see that was pretty easy to pop off there. Um, pretty much all the body mounts are done. And I have the front fender mounts that I have to do, but I can't do that until I get the body completely bolted back on with the correct size spacers. Because I don't want to put the body mounts on there and then put my spacers in there later. Or my, not my spacers, my nylon, nylon body uh, mount, uh, mounts, I guess you call them. Um, bushings. And then have those fenders be up or down or whatever. So still gotta work on that. But I have one of my other dollies in here. That's the red one. I grabbed that outside real quick. This truck used to fit on it really nice, but I cut the fours out now. So I'll have to build some kind of adapter on there to, to go all the way across to hold the truck on. And I'll probably use a, a chunk of this two, two by four tubing um, that's for uh, Vigilante, but I'll just spot weld it on there and you know, for temporary, for temporary. And uh, that way the truck can sit on there and then I can vice grip it on there. And then I'll be able to get underneath the truck safely. And I'll put my big jack stands under there also. So I know it's safe. And I'll be able to do all the welding underneath the truck that I have to do. And then I'll be able to also be able to sandblast underneath there and uh, put etching primer and epoxy and uh, undercoating and all that crap underneath the truck, underneath the floors and, you know, the braces and all that, that stuff there. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this frame over to me. And then I'll grab the front and pull it over to me and then I'll take the, the truck itself and I'll sit it down on top of that dolly. You can actually see the brackets now, the ones that I built for the body too. 
And then these ones here, they gotta be cut off, so that's the next thing I'll be doing. But you can see on the brackets here where I ran them through the, the brake lines and stuff through the brackets. And then the pucks sit right here, the body pucks or the body nylons. And then there's just gonna be a lot of uh, sandblasting and cleaning, and then I gotta take my laser, uh, shoot a line across this, or somehow, I don't know, I gotta get a straight line all the way across to cut that old floor from the Crown Vic so that it matches up with the floor of the, the unibody. <clears throat> but I got it sitting kind of goofy on here right now. I'm gonna jack up the back and then I'll let down the front more and then until it comes up nice and even, then I'll build some, uh, I'll weld some brackets on this dolly or something so that I can bolt this thing to the dolly. That way I know it's safe when I'm underneath of it. <clears throat> All right, that was kind of nerve wracking. Extremely unsafe, but you know, that's how we do things around here. Safety third, right? Like Iron Horse Garage says. So I got all the straps pulled off, and then the next thing I'm doing, I have it balancing right here. And then uh, I want to jack the back part up. Now who's here? Man. I'm going to pull the back part up. I got it latched right through the old hole where the tailgate handle uh, pull would have been. So I'm pulling it up like this, and then I'll weld some brackets up off this dolly to hold it up. And that should hold it. And then I'll you know, make sure it's safe, of course. And then I'll lock the wheels right where it's at. That way I can do the body work and everything right here, do all the welding underneath. And then I'll put my big jack stands up to hold the body up too, just in case it doesn't wanna do anything stupid, you know? But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I appreciate all your support. Please uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, because of Wayne Reynolds, I noticed that 85% uh, of our uh, subscribers are not hitting the subscribe button. If you please, you know, it's free to hit, hit the subscribe button and uh, go ahead and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you. Later.